what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of x for which x to the 30 plus x to the 20 is equal to 80. well our first step will be for us to simplify the exponent so x to the 30 can be written as x to the 30 is same as 10 times 3. I'm going to be expressing this the same way. So plus x to the 20 is same as 10 times 2. And this is equal to 80. Well, this expression can also be written as x to the 10 then raised to the power of 3 why because from indices the powers multiply that means this 10 is also multiplying this 3 making this the same as this plus now we're going to be doing the same thing here this can be written as x to the 10 now raised to the power of 2 and this is equal to 80. Now notice I have x to the 10 here and I also have x to the 10 here. So I can easily say let x to the 10 be equal to y. That means wherever I see x to the 10, I'm going to be putting y there. So this expression can be written as y to the 3 plus now y squared to be equal to 80. Our next step will be for us to move 80 to the left hand side so that we have y cube plus y squared. As 80 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 80. And this is equal to 0. So we have a cubic equation to work with. Well, I'm going to be using the factor theorem to solve this. Now looking at this, when I put y equal to 4 into this expression, I'm going to be getting 0. So in that case, y minus 4 is a factor so y minus 4 is a factor now to get the other factor of this cubic equation I'll take the coefficient of y cube which is 1 so I write it here I'll take the coefficient of y squared which is also 1 after y squared I'm supposed to have y but since there is no y here it shows that the coefficient of y should be 0 and the constant term is negative 80 so negative 80 I'm going to be rolling a line so uh, my next step will be for me to drop this one so let me drop this one good I'm going to be writing an arrow here good so I drop this one remember that the first factor is gotten from when y is equal to 4 so I'll take this 1 and multiply by 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. Now let's add this up. 1 plus 4 is 5. We'll repeat the same thing. 5 times 4 is 20. We add this up. 0 plus 20 is 20. We'll repeat the same thing. 20 times 4 is 80 now we add this up negative 80 plus 80 is 0 so these are the coefficients of the other factor so that means the factors of this cubic equation are y minus 4 so y minus 4 times remember these are just the coefficients so since we have a cubic equation, 
the other factor will be a quadratic equation. So the coefficient of y squared is 1, so this becomes y squared. The coefficient of y is 5, so this becomes plus 5y. And this becomes our constant term, which is plus 20. And this is equal to 0. So we have two cases. We have y minus 4 to be equal to 0. And we have this quadratic equation, which is y squared plus 5y plus 20 to be equal to 0. Let's solve this on the next slide. So for the first case, let me write case 1. y minus 4 is equal to 0. So that means the value of y will be equal to 4. And now for the second case, let's call this case 2. Remember, the second case is y squared plus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, since we are only interested in real solution, let's find the discriminant of this quadratic equation. So the discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So discriminant is equal to b. What is b? b is 5, so 5 squared minus 4a. What is a? a is 1. Then c, c is 20, so 20. So discriminant now becomes 5 squared is 25. Now minus, now 4 times 1 times 20 is 80. So 25 minus 80 gives negative. So the discriminant is negative, which means we're not going to be using this quadratic equation. So we're going to be rejecting any solution from here. So we only focus on real solution. So we get y to be equal to 4. Now let's recall. Recall that we said let's x to the 10 be equal to y because we are only interested in the value of x so we substitute the value of y so x to the 10 equal to y what is y we got y to be 4 so i'm going to be putting 4 here now to remove this power of 10 i'm going to be taking the 10th root of both sides so the 10th root can be written as x to the 10 now raised to the power of 10 truth can be written as 1 all over 10 that is a power of 1 all over 10 and I'll be doing this to both sides equal to 4 to the power of 1 all over 10 now notice from indices power multiply power so the 10 here cancels off the 10 here leaving just x so the value of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1 all over 10. And this is the value of x, which is the real solution for x. Let's check. So I'm going to be writing check here. Remember, the question given to us is x to the 30 plus x to the 20 is equal to 80. And we've got x to be 4 to the 1 all over 10. So let's put that here. 4 to the 1 all over 10. And this is raised to power 30. Plus, we we'll do the same thing here. x is 4 to the 1 all over 10. And this is raised to power 20. Let's see if we're going to get 80. Now, from indices, powers multiply. So, 1 times 30 is 30. That means we're going to be dividing this. So 0 cancels 0. So we have 3. So this is 4 to the power of 3. Plus, now 10 here, 1. 10 here is 2. So this is 4 squared. Let's see if we're going to get 80. So 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Plus, 4 squared is 16. Let's see if we get 80. So 
64 plus 16 is actually 80 and this is equal to 80 so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side which shows that this is a valid solution well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care